My mind is so blown. I'm like trying to keep up, but I'm in shock. This, no, this is so creepy. I have such a bad feeling. No. Hello, my loves. It is time for Orphan Black Season 2, Episode 3. As always, these videos do have to be cut up for YouTube, so if you want my full-length reactions, you can head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And a major thank you to everyone who's able to support me over there. I love and appreciate you guys so much, especially my MVPs. You guys are amazing. And without further ado, let's get into it. Boop! Hey. All right, Faith? Oh, yeah. I adore camping. Yeah, he doesn't seem like the camping type. Sarah urinating. <laughs> Just makes me queasy. Yeah, she was cold, Faith. Like she'd done it before. This is insane. It's S, you know? She makes tea and, and she taught me piano. Oh, bloody <laughs> hell! <laughs> Okay, wait, so that guy's with the Neolutionists, right? And these guys are from the Prolethians? Hey, kiddo. Hey, hey, little missy. Did you, uh, did you forget something? Because you kind of got to pay for it first. I don't have any money. Oh. Hey. There you are. Yeah, um, look, somebody forgot to pay for something. So. Oh, Kira, I told you to wait till I gave you money, didn't I? Sorry about that. Hmm. Decent distraction, though. Smart. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Bye. No. Yeah. The guy is like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Got something that might tempt you out of obscurity. Let me guess. You went to the hospital after I told you not to. Hey, still got it, Art. But guess what? That Shakira-haired look-alike. Shakira-haired look-alike. <laughs> Sit your ass down, Angie. No, I think I'll stand, Art. I told you, let it go. If you don't, I will go to Hart Castle myself and tell him you're still after it. You know you're letting down two partners now, right? Me and Beth. Well, I mean, it was just a complete disaster, you know? It was like my, my worst nightmare, not having done my hair for picture day. <laughs> hey, baby, that thing we did at the store, we don't do that unless we have to, yeah? I know, Mom. Just, uh, go get your stuff from the truck. Yeah. You know, I've been in this area before. When? There's loads of cabins and summer houses. We'll just find an empty one and we'll hold up for a bit. She needs a proper bed, V. OK. Why aren't you at work? I told you, Susan Teller's in Austin this week. So your boss is away. That's why you're playing hooky? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hey, honey, you've been so wound up. And I know, well, you got that big dress rehearsal tomorrow, right? <clears throat> Who's my little star? That is not helping. Well, why don't you sit down right here and let me relax you? Ugh. You know, morning's my best time. I just showered. 
And I need to now, just thinking about that. We should mess with his like little bioenergy hobby farm. <laughs> I'm gonna put like an electric eel in one of these tubes. He'll be like, great Scott, I've created life itself. Cosima? What is she doing? I just found out, I think you have a right to see this. All right. I just wanna show you. Oh, whoa. Hi. Who is that? I'm Jennifer Fitzsimmons. I'm a teacher and swim coach. At it's a new clone? They asked me to keep this video journal because uh, they found polyps on my lungs. I was uh, having trouble breathing and went in for tests and... Yeah, unidentified polyps. Jennifer was the first to show symptoms six months before Katya Obinger. We have hours of, of these tapes. She all right? She's dead. She died. Read the room, Cosima. <laughs> when are we going to see Mrs. S again? I don't know. I was wondering the same. She protected us, though, didn't she? Even though she was lying? Hey, but I'll protect you now. I know I wasn't always around, but I'm here now. Nothing bad is gonna happen to you. <laughs> Look at her, Gracie. Men scheme for years to build her, but only God could make her fertile. Oh no. I am very concerned for her. Sarah, wake up. Someone's here. Sarah? You know him? What the hell are you doing in my house? We, we, we were in a bind. We broke in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A bind? Oh, no. You got so much nerve. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you took 10 grand in my car. You brought us to the house of one of your marks. Are you insane? Hey, hey, Felix, relax, relax. Your marks. Cal, please. Get out! Cal, please! Mommy, what's going on? Oh, baby, come here. Oh my god, it's dude from that. Oh! Oh! Someone said there was a crossover in this episode with Hill House, and I forgot. I was looking at him thinking, he looks so familiar. <laughs> Oh my god, did I just miss something? Is that her dad? Ah! Hold on, I have to go back. I'm so... What is happening? Oh, you okay? Why'd you get scared? I'm sorry. Is this it's it's the dad? An old, he's an old friend. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I'm not. You okay? Are you my dad? Are you? Planning down. Is this a scam? You with the cute little girl, and she goes, Are you my daddy? And I get fleeced again. Is it's not a scam, dad? Cal. I was here with you for a month. Timing's right, she's yours. You're killing me. Look, I didn't come here for a father figure for my kid. No? My mind is so blown, I'm like trying to keep up, but I'm in shock. Blood in the bathroom. And did you know the thing that's really strange? The police do not arrange to clean the mess. They take the body and the family in distress is left to deal with the splatter. How the field doesn't matter. And there's no one you can call to help you through it. Thank God okay. you're here. Okay, 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 here. okay, okay. That's great. That's great. Maybe not the best musical for her to be doing in this time. Holy. This is <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Um, I'm locked out of my car. My phone's inside. I think I could borrow yours to call my husband. Nope. <laughs> your lifesaver. Mm. Ooh, I love your kicks. Do you live nearby? Uh, uh, yeah, Black Oak Drive. Oh, Hilldale Crescent. I'm Angie. Allison. Hey. Hey, Laura. Um, it's me. Is he in? Did you say Hillsdale Drive? Yeah. Oh. 
I've never seen you before. Oh, we just moved in. Hey, hon, it's me. Brain cramp over at the community center. Um, I locked myself out of the car. Can you bring me the spare key? You're the best. Half an hour. Hey, can I buy you a cup of coffee as a thank you? No. No. No, I should have told you. I wanted you all to myself. But you always left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I brought you here because there's two parts of you. Yeah? One of them is me. And one is your dad. Do you get that? Do you like Cal? Yeah. A uh, long time ago, I, I liked him very much. I like his beard. Oh, uh, my kids love their dad's beard. Me and their dad still live together as roommates. If you, you've probably heard me talking about it. And um, when, I, when we got back from my family vacation with them, they'd walk up to him and just start rubbing his beard randomly. He was like, why do you guys keep rubbing my beard? I was like, they missed it. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Sarah must have come back here for a reason. So what is this? What exactly do you do? It's what I did. Pollinators. Sorry? Mini drone pollinators for areas where bee populations have crashed. I designed the micro optics, but my partners forced me out and sold the technology to the military. Oh, he's a smart guy. I like him so much already <laughs> compared to how long it took Paul to win me over. <laughs> like, this guy's great. I love him. So they're going to fly me out for treatment thanks to this amazing guy. This is Greg, my amazing boyfriend. Mr. Lamar, That's enough. Give me a card. You see none of it. <coughs> That's her monitor, right? Greg? Sometimes I forget that you're mine. That's good. Don't feel like that was the right thing to say. You know, we are telling you everything now, but if you can't handle it, I can handle it. Don't be a bitch. Yeah. That's what I thought. Doctor, better get ready. No, she meant it. You're being a bitch. Don't smile at her like that. God. Delphine misses the mark a little bit sometimes for really having empathy for Cosima's relation or er, situation, not relationship. For eight years, eight years you pretended you didn't know who he was? You let me narrow it down to Ziggy the drummer of that guy that you met in Orange County? I was born in Orange County. We, we were in the area. I just... I knew it was time to... You are a bloody wrecking ball. You are an exploding cigar. Do you know no, that? Just let me patch things up with Cal. I've got other drama in my life, Sarah. Alison's musical opens tomorrow. She needs me. She does need you! Go back! There's no place for me here. Oh, fuck. I mean, I get where Felix is coming from, but I just feel like... I. I do think it makes sense if Cal's a good guy and all this craziness is going on. I th I totally get why Sarah would want to retreat there and <sighs> oh, that looked really real. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! But look on the uterine wall. The growths they're more pronounced, more mature. Right. So this could mean that they have originated in the uterus and, and spread from there. That could be the cause of her infertility. Possibly. No, no, right now it's not a good time. Sorry, it, it, it's my mom. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of it. Red alert, Cosima, I've just been approached by another monitor, which means they know I know about Tony. I'm glad that Cosima's keeping some walls up between Delphine. That's complicated. Complicated? My play opens tomorrow. Your play? Don't belittle me, Cosima. Felix is gone, Sarah's gone. You and I are the only ones who can hold down the fort now. Look, I'm, I'm having enough trouble holding down my own fort today. Sorry to bother you. It's a very crucial information that I'm being double monitored. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, just go through the motions with Donnie, okay? Uh, uh, break a leg or whatever. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? 
Unless Delphine black bags you into the back of an SUV and, and, and then puts you in a rabbit cage somewhere, then I'll never speak to you again. I'm getting pissed off that no one is listening or help listening to or helping Allison. They're all just blowing her off. Look at Fee. Rushing to get back to her though. Hey you. Hey. Half a yoga today. Go away, Angie! So you must be in that play that starts today? Look, I know what you're doing, Angie. If that's even your real name, so you can just go back to your bosses and tell them it didn't work. Okay, wait, wait. You're right. Okay. I'm a police officer. Yeah, like Beth. So why don't you tell me about that, huh? How about Sarah Manning? Look, I can help you. But you gotta tell me what you know. You stay away from me. Ooh. Hey, she's out like a light. She wanted me to say goodnight. You know, back then when you left, it took me a long time to admit to myself that I've been played. Yeah, well, what you don't know is that I already had a way of bank codes and passwords. I was going to take you for everything you had selling your company. Why didn't you? You just made it hard. I'm not that person anymore, Cal, but still just as much trouble. Get down. What? Hide. Local cop. You want to say hi? Hey, Tom. Great to see you, man. What's going on? Oh, bunch of nothing, probably. Some shoplifters hit up the store. Mom with a little girl and a, another guy. Yeah. And I found a stolen truck just down the way. Maybe connected, not sure. Huh. Well, it's been all quiet here since I got back last night. Yeah, well. Oh, no. Oh! Tom, if I thought there was anything you should know, I'd tell you. Good enough. Good night. See you later. Whew. Hopefully he really bought that. It felt really genuine, so hopefully... I like the way he worded that, too, because it felt genuine because he wasn't lying. If it was something he thought he should know, he would have told him. Oh. He's a friend. He's not going to say anything. He, he's gone. No, no, no. We're, we're gone, too, man. That's, now? Yeah. Kira's sleeping. Yeah, well, she's used to it. <laughs> Come on, come on, just hold on. Where, where are you gonna go? Just, I don't know, somewhere. Just... Tell me what's going on here. It's not your problem. You're safe here. I can't trust that cow. Trust me. Can't you stop running for a minute? And if we should choose to explore together for a month, Oh no! Paul's been winning me over, so I feel bad for him, but I like it. I like Cal so much better. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Uh. Troop, let's gather, Kelsey, everyone. I'm here. Today's performance is dedicated to our dearly departed Ainsley. Ainsley? We know you're with us, and we are going to do you proud. For Ainsley. For Ainsley. Ainsley. She is C. Felix. He's there. Give me, please forgive me. Oh. What have I done? I should have known that this would be the ending to the story we begun. I'm sorry. Now I must marry him someday. I knew I would one day find someone to make me complete. I'll walk down the aisle. Oh, 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 oh. Someone get a doctor. 
doctor, someone get a doctor. Honey, are you okay? Oh my god. Owie, 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 she just walked right off the stage. I was hoping she was gonna see Felix in the audience and get a rush of motivation, you know? You don't want to confuse Kira, huh? Good intuition. I mean, that's common sense. <laughs> Name's Peter White. I'm a detective from Gresham. Looking for a little girl in a custody case. Might be with a dark-haired woman in her 20s British accent. They stole a truck that was up here. Yeah, yeah. They were here yesterday. They distracted me while some new waiver stole a bunch of food. New waiver, huh? Sounds like them. Any idea where they might be headed? I'm really starting to love art, too. I hear you're not happy with our plans for Helena. She doesn't belong here. No, you're scared. I understand that, but what do we say about fear? Doubt's first cousin, am I right? You have doubts, Gracie? No. Come here. Gracie, you're my firstborn. But Elena does have a soul, she does have a purpose, and she is going to be a part of our family now. That's what tomorrow's all about. I still feel like they're gonna impregnate her. I'm guessing you're the detective been asking questions in town. Yeah, sorry I didn't pop by to say hello, but time is of the essence. Hmm. Any help you could provide would be much appreciated. Well, if the folks you're looking for were still around, they'd be in custody. Guess I'll be on my way then. Appreciate the confidence. <gasps> I win! Oh, oh no! You you're sharp, you, you little you. you. Can I go feed the chickens again, Cal? Sure, go for it. No. No, don't go outside. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I have a bad feeling. Maybe stay inside. You gonna tell me what's going on? No, I'm not gonna put that shit on you. Oh my god, why don't you hear a car pulling up? Kira, hear the car! Run, sweetie! Run, sweetie! No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! No! <laughs> why did no one hear this? Fine. Let's get in the car and she'll stay that way. Don't, don't hurt her. You get back in the house, Cal. He's got nothing to do with this. Yeah, he does now. No. Come on. Get her inside, Cal. Get, get up. Shut up. Can't be mad, man. 33. Oh, I liked that cop. He seemed like a decent dude. No. Oh no! Oh come on, he didn't deserve that. Damn it! Not Tom. Send out the girl! No! Not gonna happen! Take me! Please just take me! Please! Get in. You're driving. Get in! Oh, God. I'm so glad that Cal seems like such a badass. He seems so smart and capable. I'm so glad Kira's with him. <laughs> miracle on top of miracle. This... No, this is so creepy. I have such a bad feeling. No. You are hereby bound together before God. Lord, we are asking you as simply as we can. Reclaim Helena 
from eternal damnation. Bless us with your bounty. We are your instruments in the war for creation. Amen. to do with it. She's your daughter. You touch her and I will bury you. Just drive. <gasps> I was gonna say drive off a bridge or something but that works. Ah! So that was episode three. I did not expect to meet Kira's father at all. I mean I, I expected to get more information about him throughout the series or whatnot and potentially meet him but I definitely did not expect to meet him in this episode or this season even. And I was told that there was a crossover in this episode from Hill House, and I was not sure what you guys meant by that, but I was very surprised <laughs> when my brain finally figured out who I was looking at. I really, really, really like Cal so far. I think he seems like a really good guy. Based off of what little backstory we have on him, he's v clearly very intelligent and capable. I really loved how he handled the cop coming situation and how he sprung into action when Kira was in trouble and he protected her with the gun and all of that. I just really like this character so far and I'm really excited to have that dynamic in it. Kira's father. Very, very exciting. It's heartbreaking that Fee left, but honestly, I really wanted him to be at home with Allison anyways. Allison needs him, so I'm kind of glad about that in the long run because I'm very concerned about Allison. She is spiraling and definitely needs Fee. I'm excited that Art is still looking into things on his own. I respect Angie for doing what she's doing, even though it's super annoying and not ideal. Like, she's really getting on my nerves, but every time I think about it, I'm like, I can't really fault her, though. Like, for her, it makes sense. I just... Go away, Angie. And I am very concerned for Helena. That whole ceremony gave me an overwhelming amount of ick, and I just have a really, really bad feeling about how often they keep talking about her fertility and the foreshadowing with the cows and everything. I just feel really sick to my stomach for Helena. And then of course, what an ending. I don't really know what to read into that situation yet. So good thing we're going to watch the next one. Let's just dive into it and say goodbye. Let's say goodbye here so I can dive into the next one is what I'm trying to say. So go ahead and hop down in the comments. Let's chat. Just another reminder that if you're watching this on YouTube, my full length reactions are available on Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And thank you all for being here with me today. It really is an honor to have you spend your time with me. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.